everybody, it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so excited to share with you a part of my makeup collection that is very near and dear to my heart, and that is my MAC lipstick collection. Some of you guys have learned recently that I did work there for quite a bit of time, so this is why I do have a lot of MAC products in general, but especially lipsticks, and I was not a lipstick girl at all until I started working there. I wanted to start with the first lipstick I ever bought from MAC. This is back when I was complete amateur in makeup, very new to it, and I still love it just as much to this day. It's a Viva Glam lipstick, and one of the Viva Glams are they're gonna have this red strip in the middle of the lipstick. 100% of the proceeds go to the MAC AIDS Fund, so it's amazing you're doing a good deed, and the lipstick shades are gorgeous too. So here is a swatch of the Viva Glam 5, and it is such a beautiful neutral pink tone. It doesn't have too much warm in it or not too much cool. That's why it's a very universal pink shade that we put in a lot of our in a lot of our customers when they'd come in because it looked so nice on everybody. Gorgeous for every day for the working woman. It's beautiful finish too because it's a luster, so it does have a little bit of a pearlescent finish to it. Another Viva Glam I want to share with you guys is the Viva Glam 2 and it is this beautiful light pink mauve color. This one is beautiful to layer with. I really enjoy putting this uh, underneath different other shades of nudes if I don't wear it on its own. And this is a satin finish, so it has a little bit more of a drier formula compared to the Luster, which as you can see has a lot more high shine, has more pearl to it. This is gonna have a little less of that pearly finish and stays put really well. The last lipstick I have to share with you guys of the Viva Glams is Viva Glam Gaga and this was so hard to get my hands on. There was so much build up. It was like a rat race to the mall to get this lipstick. It is one of the most unique and vibrant pinks that I have in my collection. It has a very strong blue base undertone to it and I don't typically like showing you guys something that's limited edition that you can't get your hands on. So what I did notice playing around with, with the MAC lipsticks is that it's gonna be a reiteration of the colors Pink Nouveau from MAC, uh, Snob, and Saint Germain. I think if all three of those had a baby, then this is kinda what it came out to. The next lipstick I have is Angel and it's a beautiful frosted pink. This is the color that absolutely blew up when Kim Kardashian's makeup artist revealed what her favorite signature lip color is and he included uh, this color Angel. So this color really blew up and kind of gained that reputation of being Kim Kardashian's signature lip color with uh, NARS's Turkish Delight. It is a beautiful gorgeous baby pink color. I actually really like this with silver eyeshadows or even just on its own in the summertime. It's a beautiful baby pink. This is a shade called Modesty and I say when in doubt go with Modesty. It looks good on everybody. It is the most universal color and the color that I say to makeup artists that you must have in your kit. So as you can see, this color is a little bit deeper than Angel. This is my go-to color for when I do bridal work. It looks good on everybody. This is such a safety net lipstick. Oh, I got Jubilee in my hands. Jubilee is the most unique nude color. It kind of plays tricks on your eyes. It has subtle hints of pink, uh, undertone of a bit of a brown caramel. It is such a cool neutral color. I find this color to be fantastic on medium to darker skin tones as a nude. You can even pick up a little bit of peach in there. It's very multi-dimensional. It has a lot of different looks to it. So this is something you definitely have to try to see if it's if it's your kind of taste. For all my 
my nude loving girls out there, as weird as that sounds, I have the perfect lipstick for you. Meet Cherish. Cherish is a beautiful nude shade that I love to wear over underneath, not over lip gloss, underneath lip gloss, hello, Makeup 101. It really mutes out the lips beautifully without making you look like a dead person. I just can't get into that look, you guys. I, I'm i not a really big fan of Myth. If you like that very, very muted out look, then I suggest Myth to you. I think this is kind of a happy compromise for Myth. I present to you Girl About Town, Max top selling lipstick. I swear when I worked there, I pulled for this color more than any other lipstick color. When I go out, if you're going out to the club, you will see 20 girls wearing this shade on their lips. I guarantee it. Look how beautiful that color is. It really just speaks on its own. It's an amplified, so it has a lot of high pigmentation to it. It's very creamy, and it's just the perfect medium tone but bright fuchsia color. It really looks good on everybody. And I always suggest it, if you're looking into getting your first kind of bright lipstick that's out of the box, this is a great one to start out with. Morange or Morange. There's a couple ways to say it, and I've heard it a couple different ways, but let me show you this color up close. It's just such an electric color. I love how rich and amplified it is. It has that high shine to it. I wore this color with a little bit of teal eye makeup one time, and it was just such an exotic out there look. And this color was definitely a conversation piece anytime I've worn it, and it's just a really fun shade to have in your collection. Next is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks that I own from MAC. It is the very famous Ruby Woo. So this is the first matte shade I'm showing you guys. And as you can see, with mattes, they are very drying. So they're, they're not going to have that really moisturizing feel to them. But the perk of having a matte is that it stays put really well and the color is super strong. So as you can see, it's kind of hard to apply it even. But, um, and I will say it's a little trickier to apply than a lot of the shades I've shown you so far, but once you get it on the lips, it is the most beautiful shade of red and will make your teeth sparkling white with the strong blue undertones it has. And this color looks amazing on every skin tone, whether you're fair skin or dark skin, it's going to pop on your lips. Last but not least, I have a lipstick that I can't pronounce the name very well. It's either Dubonnet or Dubonnet. It is my Sophisticated Girl lipstick. This is more of a deeper burgundy type red. It has subtle hints of brown to it. Just a very rich, rich red color. It's, I like to think of it as my, my Gatsby red lipstick color for when I go out. Just a very nice deep deep red color that was beautiful for the holiday times. It's very, it screams very glamour to me. Has that high shine to it because of the amplified finish as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed my MAC lipstick collection video. I'd love to hear what some of your favorite MAC lipsticks are in the comment section below. Make sure you guys check out my website, ultimakeover.com. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are so wonderful to sit with me and listen to me talk all the time. You guys are so great. I hope you all are having such a great day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye.